After two comes three. So race three, the Betfred Bowl. It's a great one chase over the three mile one furlong. Top of the pile is Battle of the Woodland for Joshua Southern. Two is Drum Harlow for Alex Cherry. Three, Fantasy Man for David Robinson. Four, Hollander for Stu Gray. Five, Lions Gold for Jim Murray. Six, Not for the Money. And seven, Pig in a Basket for Carl Arrogantic. Eight, Sando Sioni for Molly at Surfer. Nine, Spanish Steps for Martin Needham. Ten years in the making for Joshua. Eleven, Black Absolute for Alex Cherry. Twelve, Dell's Half for Del Hinton. Thirteen, Dolly Oates for Ghost Supper. Fourteen, Heidelsham for Paul Rhodes. Fifteen, Law Lay Sound for Darren Thompson. Sixteen, Pulling Your Leg Master for Graham. Seventeen is Quandro 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 for Paul Rhodes. Eighteen is Ramming Oats for Ghost Sapper, 19 Visionista for Molly at Surfer, and Zelda de Moore for Darren Thompson makes up the 20. The start has got him away. The heavy conditions here, the rain starting to come down. Get to the first. Everybody negotiates it and they're all over it. The heavy conditions, more rain's falling. Though the outlook for tomorrow's national is much better. It's obviously going to dry out considerably because we go from heavy conditions today to good conditions tomorrow, so there'll be plenty of sunshine. So it's Dolly Oates that uh, drags the field along with Rambling Oates in second and Pig in a Basket is third. There you're one, two, and three. Then we've got Drumhaller, Heidelshamp, Fantasy Man, Quandro, Quandro, Quandro. We get to the third, everybody's managed to get over that. Poor jump with the rear by Zelda and Amoy. Into that tail end position. It's not unlike a Darren Thompson horse. It's tend to make up the ground. So as we swing left handed in, a few are going really wide. I mean, Graham's poor old uh, putting your leg master has lost four or five lengths there as they go around the hairpin here at Aintree. It'll make a difference tomorrow in the national. And it's still Dolly Oates by a couple to Rambling Oates, Pig in a Basket and Drum Harlow. Then we've got Visionista, Lions Golf and Fantasy Man. Then Paul's Heidelshin. Side of that is Spanish Steps and Hollander. You know, Black Absolute, Dell's half in the pink a little bit wider. Widest of all is Lawley Sound. And back up against the fence is not for the money. Santisioni and Zelda de Moy. And the three at the rear of Pudding Your Leg Master and uh, a couple of Josh Sutherland. Staples horses, years in, in the making and Battle of the Woodland. The tail end of the field. We get to the fourth. Oh, on the second place, uh, Rambly Notes went through the top of it. As you can see, only been through five fences and we've already got a 20 length from first to last as we get to the fifth. Everybody's still standing on their feet here, which is pretty good. But it's Dolly Oates from Drumhala. View from the stands there. A sharp left turn here, and this time it's Sansioni out wide that's got a bit caught along with Dell's half. It's a pity that. Aintree has those two uh, hairpin turns, especially when we have such big fields. And oh, just under the last was Battle of the Woodland. Not sure what's happened to those Josh Sutherland horses. They could well be uh, Battle of the Woodland. We're losing all the time here. So I would have thought there's probably an injury. He's in the makings trying to catch on to the back of the pack. And there is Battle of the Woodland. He's still plugging on as they get to the eighth. Use. They're all years in the making. Josh Sutherland might not all win this race. But up front is Dolly Oates still. Leads us from Drum Harlow, picking a basket, rambling notes and fantasy man. They're your top five. Then Heidelshin, Lawley, Sound, Lions, Golf, not for the money against the fence. They get to the ninth. Everybody's over it. We've still not lost anybody here. A view from uh, a mole. If there was a mole on the course, that would have been his view. So it's still Dolly Oates, Pig in a Basket, Drum Harlow, Rambling Oates and Fantasy Man. Uh, Length back to Lawley Sound. Pretty much as we were. Oh, we've lost finally. I shouldn't say we finally lost one. Poor old Visionist has gone. Bad luck for Molliots. You've still got Sanzioni in here. Down one at last, but I still can't see Battle of the Woodland. He's still plugging around. And no, he's getting pulled up now. Seeing the stands, wants to stay there and watch a bit of TV. So Battle of the Woodland gets pulled up. He's out of the race. And it's still no change up front. It's still Dolly Oates, Drum Harlow, Rambling Oates, Pig in a Basket and Fantasy Man. And a length back to Heidelshin. Not for the money lines. Golf and Lawley Sound. And a length and a half to Dell's half. Zelda de Moy against the fronts outside of those Spanish steps and Hollander. Widest of all at the moment, and we're losing as I thought. Years in the making, he's getting pulled up here. So, with a mile left to travel, Josh has lost both. Unlucky. But it's 
dolly oats from pig in a basket drum parlor rambling oats and fantasy man then high oceans moved up a little bit better not for money lawless down the lines golf then a length or so back to the rest they will get over the 11th there's still another six fences to take it's still dolly oats although he's been pushed along a little bit by his jockey now inside the six and a half they get to the 12th oh and we're losing another one there i don't know who's uh, i'm pulling your leg master's been pulled up I think we're going to lose Black Absolute if we get to the 13th. So they're certainly not. Oh no, Black Absolute's still in there, I think. Oh no, Sansioni's been pulled up now. It wasn't Black Absolute. Sorry, Alex. Bad luck. Uh, Molly, it's lost another one of your two. But as we come down with just half a mile to go, as they go over the 14th, the one out on his own now is Dolly Oates. And he's five, six, seven lengths, maybe ahead of the rest. I don't know what happened as we lost a few pull-ups there. The jockey has a little look round. He's had a plum ride, but it's Dolly Oates. Now going to be challenged by Heidelsch and Quandro, 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 and Rambling Oates running on Lawley Sound. Zelda de Moy. They've still got a lot to do as they go over the 15th. The leader's over it, as has the remainder, but they've cut into his lead. And it's still Dolly Oates, though, but he's got a three-length advantage. These heavy conditions, they're hard to drag back, these horses. So it should favour your front runners as we come down to half a quarter of a mile left to run it's Dolly Oates to the penultimate jumps it well Heidelsham was a little bit slow over it the rest have got over it but it's still Dolly Oates Black Absolute got unseated and it's still Dolly Oates as we come down to a furlong with one to jump he's been there since the beginning running on well is his stable mate Rambling Oates the twins are coming alongside each other he's only got to go over the last nothing else is going to catch this he might get beaten by his own horse but it's Dolly Oates and Rambling Oates Tell me the difference between those horses. There's nothing in it other than a length to Dolly Oates. Third was Quandro, Quandro, Quandro. So a win for John Morgan. Well done. Dolly Oates takes it along with Rambling Oates for second, first and second. Third was Quandro, Quandro, Quandro for Paul Rhodes. Fourth was Heidelsham for Paul Rhodes. Fifth was Zelda Des Moines for Darren Thompson.